Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today more of Ryan campaign. And he's having a good time. He's uh, he's in a new land, uh, fighting uh, knobby boys and uh, shambling corpses. He's having a great time. Okay, he's having a great time. He's got his wild riders. He's got a sister thorn. I mean, what more could you want? Ice cream. That's what. That's what he could want. I want ice cream. Uh, so yeah, we can't get anything from global. I would love to get just like one more Wild Rider with this army. Preferably with shields. We still have that one unit of Wild Rider with shields. From the very beginning of the game. It's absolutely wild. With his 103 charge bonus, 112 speed. God, just repulsive. Repulsive stats. Just make me sick. I love it. Uh, yeah, so this is fine. Witchwood is just going up. Number go up. Like, it's, it's easy. It'll get to 100 one day. I'm really not fussed about it. Aka can ambush all that stuff fine. We've got a couple of other armies in reserve. You know, not really a problem. Pretty straightforward. Uh, Elendiling is actually kind of fighting on her own. I am trying to get a second Hi. army going, but she's been doing a great job just ambushing random, you know, enemies and stuff. Garth is over here fighting Selsamund, though. Oh, actually, he's not a boy with Selsamund, so he's coming for me. Oh, dear. Although, we actually have a really good garrison now, so that's not so much of a problem. Yeah, that's not terrible. I might change my mind on this, though. And just get, uh... Maybe just a bunch of war dancers? Like, standard war dancers instead of blade singers? I think having more numbers quicker is, is a better idea, because I don't think we're going to have a full army before, like, bad guys show up. And I want as much stuff as possible to help defend all this, you know? Um, I cannot have this start dwindling, because again, number go up. Like, it'll get to 100 eventually. Especially if we get Wrecker's Point, there'll be another plus one. And actually, do we not have... We do not have... We do not have the do. Next turn, though, we get more building slots. Then we can build uh, the thing that I'm <laughs> speaking nonsense about. Indecipherable nonsense. I, I want the Rooted Gyron. I want to get these buildings so we can get um, an extra plus one health per turn for our magical forests. Well, for this one, anyway. Um, and, yeah, I think I'm going to take Wrecker's Point and destroy Arnau, maybe even Gorsal. I might just wipe these guys out. I'm bored of them. I have to defend from too many places from these jerks. I think just wiping them out will free up uh, Bretonia to do what Bretonia does. Defend Athel Lauren. So I think we're good. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to free up some space. We have enough wars that everything is free. Even if we did suddenly have everyone having to pay, like, you know, 4% of their cost or something, I think we're probably fine, you know. Like, we're making 26k per turn. So, yeah, I think we're fine. We're also going to ambush uh, Aranessa this turn as well. So, yeah, things are going well. Yeah, Sister Twilight never going to move. We've got some unassigned skill points, though. Valnal, well, you need the arrow kernels, obviously. Where's Valnal? Oh, it's this new one. Yeah, okay. The one who's going to be fighting dwarves with infinite birds. Which is always fun. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, probably Call of the Woods. We want that melee attack. We need to get over their big melee defense. You know? And hopefully we'll get another ambush here as well. Just a lot of good things happening, guys, around our realm. A lot of good things happening. Um, are you going to declare war on me? That is astounding. That is astounding that they've decided to do that. That is genuinely amazing. Strength rank 4. Wow. Okay, they've got, like, all this area on lockdown, I think. That's impressive. You know, I am gonna... Hmm. I'm not gonna call them. That, that's so far for them to run. We'll still absolutely uh, smash them. It's not a problem. But yeah, really impressive, actually, that someone has the audacity to declare a war. Because, like, who, who has the balls to declare war on me? And Silostra just got... Oh, no, they spotted it. So it's not an ambush, but, you know... They're still dead, so that's fine. Oh, another ambush got spotted over here. So they didn't spot us until they ran into us. Then we failed the ambush success roll, and they decided not to engage. But it does mean they're stood outside of their settlement now. Talium and a pestilence have been destroyed, apparently. Uh, we did beat inside Ostra. Lovely. Got ourselves a steed. Okay, come on. So those who seek to fight in the name uh, name of honor must seek out Eldrazor. That extra five melee attack for all infantry units and 10% physical resist is really amazing. And the Wild Hunt slumbers once more. That is fine. 
Uh, now let's kill this guy. Is... Nope. Nope. He's not going to get any reinforcements from Lost Plateau. What? Why? You know what? It's the armor, I think, that that is giving them, like, big, um, you know, big props where they don't really deserve it. It's very strange. Uh, so let's see. They have four ranged units. They have four ranged units. The Slayers we can kill from miles off. In fact, we can kill their Lord from miles off as well. Because, you know, it's just a, a Dragon Slayer. And they die so easily. It, it, like, irritatingly easily, honestly. I find a very um, awkward thing for a Lord. Because you really don't want your Lord to ever die. You want the Lord to be the most resilient thing in your army. So that you always have them leading the army again. You know next battle, right? You can't really afford them to just die willy-nilly. So having a slayer that has to do its best to stay out of combat is ugh, just thematically bleh. Hate it. So uh, anyway, let's fight. I mean, I can't afford to lose all that, all those troops. I've got another war just to the south of me that I might need to get involved in. Okay. So uh, let's get you up here. Have a bunch of you lot on one side, but to you on the other. Now we'll just get a nice surround on them straight away. And uh, you lot, I think you're going to charge right in. So let's go for the. Oh, I don't know, whoever really. Um, let's throw that in the middle somewhere. And yeah, let's aim for those hammerers. Ow. Rude. Rude much. And, I don't know, I'll try a breath attack, but I don't really know where that's going to go. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's jump down here. Uh, all you lot, shoot him. You too, in fact. You can, you can try and shoot him too. So, yeah, this isn't looking too bad, actually. Yeah, they're doing alright. Our enemies, you know? I'm saying, oh, it doesn't look too bad for our enemies. Like, that's not really who I should be rooting for. But, um... I am, though. I kind of am. I kind of am. Alright, let's try and get these hammerers next. Now I'm going to charge you into. Um, I mean, I could have got them with the... Eh, it's all fine. Alright, he's getting shot at now. Good. So many birds. You notice that? A lot of birds. <laughs> and yeah, he's getting whittled down. Brilliant. Awful lot of birds. And those corridors are unbreakable. There's a like Grudge Settler units, which is interesting. So he's nearly dead, which is pretty great. You know, pretty good stuff. And now, uh, Ward Answers can run. Let's just run you away. Alright, the Lord's dead. And everyone else I will just shoot. What? Oh, I feel like you guys are a bit weird. What's your problem? I think I must have moved them when I meant to shoot someone. Which, you know, fair enough. Alright, <laughs> guys, come on. Go rid of all the unbreakable guys. I think so. Let's go chase that thane down. There we go, we won. Good job, folks. Good job. Marvelously done. Let's get some replenishment. And there's still nothing nearby. So, do I attack Lost Plateau? It does have a big garrison. 
So I think I might uh, just take a step back. And we'll let this army... God, this army's so silly. We'll let that army start building up. And uh, you need to recruit some more things, don't you? Uh, what else do we want? What else do we want against an army of demons? You know, I'm actually kind of not sure. Uh, I guess you've got magic damage. So getting a bunch of Hagbane tips might not be a bad shout. Um, would be better to have, like, swift shiver shards, but they'll do, you know? They'll do. Alright, Orion was having a kip. Greasus is over here. What do we get for defeating Greasus? Ooh, should we find out? Shall we find out? We shall indeed. If he doesn't want to fight us, then we know that we're too powerful. Okay, good. He doesn't want to fight us. We will lose a bunch of stuff if we fight. It reckons. It reckons strong. Um, so we're going to fight Grisus. That's so fun. Look at him with his anti-infantry and anti-large. He's an interesting boy. Um, what do we get if we defeat him? I think it's probably money related, right? God, it's never fight ogre kingdoms. And I don't really play any campaigns around the Mountains of Morn, so... I just can't think at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to find out. So, um, you know, I don't usually um, bring um, my sort of uh, uh, professional life into uh, the, the channel. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got an email from Oreo Promotion. Sorry, Oreo promo. I guess they like the rhyme. Uh, dunk into Oreo integration, it says. It says, nice day. We Oreo, large amateurs of your channel and insightful reviews. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so guys, when you when you see the adverts of Oreos start showing up on my channel, you know that that was totally a <laughs> legitimate email. <laughs> we Oreo, amateurs of your channel. Fantastic. Real, real good. Absolutely love it. Uh, sounds like um, <laughs> sounds like Charlie from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia wrote that email. So where am I going to go here? Who am I attacking? What am I? What am I doing? I mean, everyone's got Strider, right? So probably just spread you guys out uh, amongst the front line, so I can get my um my abilities in a, in a handful of places, right? Blade Captain gets charge out as well. And, uh... So, not you, but everyone else here is going to go into melee mode. And I'll keep you out of it. But I genuinely think that that is the answer. So many Wild Riders. It's just horrendous, isn't it? Absolutely horrendous. Uh, let's get some random shots in. The iron guts are a little uh, a little tough to chew, so we'll go for them first, I think. You know, it's not a huge amount of hits, but it'll do. Um, let's have you run straight towards Grease's Gold Tooth. Obviously, we're going to hit the horn when we're close. So we can get the charge bonus up to, like, something revolting. Like, 160. Wait, 147 charge bonus. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, all things considered. So a huge amount of, of, you know, crazy stuff hitting us here. Okay, what else am I going to hit him with? I right, hit him with those... Yeah, the charge bonus is just insane here. Although, we're taking some big damage on some of our guys here. So, let's weaken them. Use Shield of Thorns on you guys, in case you get hit some more. Uh, actually, you go attack that way. So, yeah, this is a bit problematic, but everywhere else seems to be doing great. Alright, they've struggled a little. They've struggled a little. Alright, Curse Manor here, over here. Ghost Manor here, over here. And, uh, yeah, let's charge on through, shall we? 
You can stand Greasus, he's nearly dead. Alright, start just hoofing things, right? As always with the hoofing. Let's keep hoofing things. Okay, let's charge them down. Let's move you guys back. Uh, you guys somehow aren't done here yet. Yeah, let's charge them some more. You guys can run back that way. You guys can run back that way. Uh, Curse of Anna here. Perfect. You keep murdering. Alright, let's get those iron guts. And, ooh, these wild riders need to get out of there too. Nice. Man, this is cool. And, yeah, we are absolutely decimating these guys. Excellent. Uh, we did just have someone run away. By the looks of it. Okay, let's... Help you guys out. It looks like we've won. It's just uh, gorges are uh, unbreakable. Yeah, that was a big old battle, huh? Big old battle. Very cool. Nice. Very nice. So much damage did you do? Uh, Fourteen thousand damage. Two thousand eight hundred damage in in value. Uh, barely any damage in value. Uh, did barely anything. But yeah, all you guys got quite a lot of value, I think. Yeah, there was a lot of value in that army. Very fun. Sister Thorn did a great job. The debuffs on our enemies were really, really useful. So there we go, Pyrrhic victory. Pyrrhic victory. That's the worst battle Ryan's ever had. But then it was against, like, all iron guts. So, you know, pretty, pretty impressive. We're still able to, like, smash them all down. So an absolute slaughter. We actually lost a unit. Crazy. Never lose units. So yeah, Grisus did a good job there. He actually did a good job. So there is um, Gaunt Grinder Nun here. With a lot of tough boys as well. Scary stuff. Uh, but I can go into Amber's stance and he may very well fail to spot me. Just because we're so good at that. And if we are able to ambush one of these things, then the rest aren't going to want to mess with us, I don't think. Although, yeah, we have suffered some damage here, for sure. Uh, cashing out. There we go. He come from trade and build his local province. There we go. Like all tyrants, in the end, Grisus Goldtooth proved to be nothing but a massive bag of hot air and empty threats. And lots and lots and lots and lots of meat. <laughs> so much meat. Uh, let's get a forest look out there, shall we? And a game lodge. And you know what? Let's not get that, because actually we need to get the things that I wanted. Um, which were... Was it both of these things? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. There we are. Good. Now, do I want to get another army here? I mean, I want to teleport an army over here, of course, but... Um, Alright, big bonus in forest battles. Is very handy. Alright, a bunch of Azrai Spears. And you are going to buff your Azrai Spears. There we go. So let's keep doing that. Good. But yeah, that's a little scary. It's a little scary, that. I think we'll be alright, though. Sisters of Twilight can chill there. You can chill here. Uh, Akka. Actually has quite a lot going on here. Oh, wow, okay. Bale Taurus, Forsaken, Hell Pit Abomination Cycle. This is quite scary. Uh, I mean, an ambush here might still do the job, though. Striking branches will help all of our um, cavalry. So let's do that. Nice. Now for you. Increase mobility. Sure. Oh, and something else, I suppose. Uh, let's get Foe Seeker, so we can start tempering your vigor. Good. So now, Masterful Ambush. It's not going to be the best ambush chance. Um, How can I assist you? I'm not sure yet. Ooh, this works. Right, let's bring you over here. Agreed. Let's bring you over here. You are going to set up an ambush over here. It will leave Vol's Anvil um, susceptible to attack, but it's just an outpost, so like, we don't really care. If it gets taken, we'll just take it back. 
Um, and the, the one we'll lose from not having that will get back more so when we do the battle. So that's still going to be going up. Um, baiting them in just lets us uh, do the battles in our territory. So it's not a terrible idea if he does attack. Uh, and good, we can get Wrecker's Point now. Although, Garth is nearby. Which is a bit concerning. A little, little bit concerning. We've got a great garrison, but... I don't know. I can hop back. Oh, let's risk it. So, I guess I'll just... Hmm. I was say, I'll just take it over. So that, you know... We can hang on to it a bit longer. We can't really. It, it, it's just going to actually encourage the enemy to attack it. Genuinely, it's, it's just going to encourage them. Because, you know, they're not at war with a ruin. So they're less likely to attack it, basically. Uh, you are going to be on a forest dragon soon. So actually, I think we need to put up your melee stats. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, and to do this. Let's get you over here. And you're going to go help out Orion in a minute. In fact, can you now? I don't know what the cooldown is. Where am I? Hang on. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if we've cooled down on this yet. Uh, oh, not that. This one. Oh, we are. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, we've got some allies here, in case Orion struggles at all. Um, to hold this stuff at bay. I could get better ambush charts. I could get better ambush charts. Do I want to get better ambush charts? I sort of do. We're playing very aggressively, but even so. Extra 5% chance to ambush sounds great. Uh, and for you, speaking of oak, let's get the endurance of it. For them. Nice. Okay. So it's going to take us a while to clear this out. I'm amazed how many armies there are here. It's because you, well, you guys aren't at war with each other. I don't know who you were at war with. As far as I can tell, I mean, they're not at war with anyone. And you guys also aren't at war with anyone nearby. So I don't know why they have so many armies here. If they're not at war with each other. Kind of weird. Unless they just have so many armies, you know. Alright, Aranessa backed off. Interesting. Uh, I mean, this is still going up by 13 per turn. So, just that one doesn't really change much. You know, it'll save us maybe a turn. In the grand scheme of things. Alright, Dodan. You keep heading towards Daith. You can be in his army. Because he doesn't have enough heroes yet. It's a bit ridiculous. Okay, I think that's it for the turn. Uh, you've leveled up, though, thanks to um, Orion leveling folks up. Let's get Inspiring Presence, and we'll start getting Wings of the Forest, because that's really all I need for an army like that. Which, I've got to say, it does make low-level... Like, having a lot of low-level armies really good. Like, it actually makes it really quite beneficial. Okay, it was th this turn that we attacked there. Been a, been a long turn, this one, actually. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I forget where we started. Uh, oh, yeah. Tier 5. Lovely. And, I, yeah. Slight chance to get a bigger garrison there. After a million years. That sounds great. Um, it's not a slight chance to get the garrison. It's a chance that it might be useful. <laughs> Seems slim. Picking, so it'll be actually, you know, good to have. Uh, shall we start getting an Eerie? I, I want more flying units, because they're funny. You guys might have noticed, I do really enjoy the flying units. It also might be worth getting an Undergrowth Lookout. Actually. So I don't think we actually need anything else here. Oh, actually, saying that, we don't have the Roots of Gyron yet. Though we are almost... We are almost there anyway. Yeah, battles and raising. We're getting loads of forest health. So yeah, we're basically there anyway. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it without the, the magic, and we'll do this just so the Skaven can't continue to bother us. Okay, so we only need two more battles to level this up again. Christ, yeah, minus two forest health per turn. Actually, that will slow us down quite a lot, in a lot of places. I think. <laughs> Genuinely, I mean, this isn't going up at all right now. Um, it's a little scary. Nemesis Crown, gonna slow things down a bit. And 
and we got an ambush. That's very funny. Okay. Uh, do I fight this? Do I fight this? Scan has low casualties, but it might take more than I'd like to take. And I think, really, we'd lose no one if we attack this ourselves. Oh, I'll just risk it for a biscuit. We lost 50, guys. 3% back. Uh, close victory, medium casualties. God, that's like a proper army. Uh, let's try and retreat and see if they can reach us again. They can't, so we're good. We can we can chase them down. They have two full stacks there. Oh, boy. Altharian ended the trade agreement. They're not enjoying our crown shenanigans. But no, Ryan's doing all right. We'll bring him back to heal up, though. And we will recruit a couple more um, uh, shielded wild riders. The extra melee attack is certainly going to help against these kind of big hitters. And and we failed to spot our ambush. Seriously? All right, sure. I mean, we will lose our highest rank wild rider there, but it gets rid of that army, so it'll do. Although fighting that army would have been pretty cool because it's a pretty insane army, but you know, we gotta we gotta get through this campaign at some point, right? Okay, that's all great. Yep. Uh huh. Okay, season campaigner for Akka. Lovely. Extra campaign movement range. Perfect vigor. Good stuff. She's got a unicorn, too. Alright, so there's two big old armies over here. I think Taduthus can probably wipe one out quite easily. I, th yeah, there's no ranged units in this army. Oh, boy. Oh, we can't. We can't reach him. That's sad. 100% ambush chance there, though. And, um... And we got a 100% ambush chance here as well. <laughs> and then they can just keep recruiting. More oh! I love that! Plus two recruit slots. And Orion's in the same territory. Very powerful. Uh, let's make you faster. Good. <laughs> this is revolting, I love it. Uh, so that's good. Everyone is looking pretty good. Re uh, replenishment is actually shocking. For Orion right now. It's really, really bad. Do we have any ancillaries that can help? Uh, I don't think we do. I mean, at some point, guys, at some point, one, one day, one of these days, probably never, but one day, we are... Oh, I can actually... Hmm. Oh, I want that. I don't need the leadership. Yeah, let's get more armor and weapon strength for, for Orion. Sounds perfect. Uh, but yeah, one day, we will actually have our queen with us, okay? One day. Also, why do we have the charmed shield when we could have, like... Let's go there. We have something way better than that. Could we? Could we, though? Not really. Um, ambush defense chance. There's a ward save on that. All right, let's, let's fuse some stuff. Um, we've got a potion of healing. That's quite good. You know, not awful. Not awful. Hail of Doom arrows are quite cool. Got a lot of ruby rings of ruin. I don't see us really getting much done with those. Uh, brass cleaver and the sword of strife. I'm going to merge. Talisman of preservation, really nice. Really nice. Uh, opal amulets aren't nothing, I guess. Obsidian lodestones are a bit rubbish. It's given us uh, sword of bloodshed. Oh god, these are really good weapons. So I really want to I don't think I do want to fuse them. We're just not getting any armor. Just give me some good armor, please. More amulets. Give me armor. Or give me death. But, like, armor, though. Helm of the Hunt. Extra charge bonus. That's not awful. That's pretty good for him. Just extra armor, though, is kind of cool. Let's go with extra 20 armor. So we'll give him, you know, fairly good armor, actually. At that point. But, you know, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, I was hoping he'd get some extra punishment. But I know his queen... Well, I don't know it. I think Ariel has replenishment bonuses. It would make sense, right? It's Ariel. I mean, feels, feels appropriate. So yeah, we'll see. We will see. Sisters of Twilight... Have a level up. Bow and blade. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Akka. We can continue to just have a little ambush party over here. Uh, ooh. 
bound spell dwellers below that is no joke or uh what's loic's blessing do speed plus 25 percent unstoppable and stalk the nearby nearby units that's quite cool or better magic and cooldown on spells i think forest fury just sounds cool. we can get all of them wow i really thought that was gonna be pick one but no we can get all of them apparently we don't have any of her magic yet which we probably should but oh well one day one day we'll get some magic for it that's the problem with having spellcasters be lords like i really hate having to pick between like you know making them a competent spellcaster and making them a competent leader because like melee heroes and lords you don't really have to give them the melee stuff well he's a problem you don't really have to give them the melee stuff for them to be good in melee you know, you just you just don't. They're already really good. Ooh, she might struggle a bit against that. Probably should have brought them over there. Uh, I think we'll be all right though in an ambush. I imagine. I have to imagine. Um, but yeah, just like I wish, I wish wizards started with just a bit more magic. You know, wizard lords, just so you could actually have a good variety without having to spend skill points on it that delays making your, um, you know, your units capable. It's a bit, bit frustrating to have to, to balance that. Never felt quite right for me. Okay, this guy's still just kind of chilling here. I don't know why I can't get. I guess that. That's trees I can't actually stand in. Impossible. Um, oh, I don't know. Some more. Some more guys. Just keep keep recruiting. Uh, I could get some Redems Renown as well, actually. Or Kaiser Drakira are certainly going to help. And yeah, I think I do want to bring them over here. I don't know how it's going to perform, though, this army. Not sure. We do a masterful ambush over here. Just sneak up on them a bit. And uh, get them next turn. Because I reckon between this garrison and this army, we can probably scare them off. Really hope so. Alright, you stay where you are. Death is looking better. He's looking a lot better. Uh, we do need more, like, treatment and stuff. God, it's so far behind in development that spot. You know, Waterfall Palace. But I'd love to get a bunch of treemen. We're nowhere near there yet. We get some more tree kit, though. Do need some more tree kit. So that's not bad. And then I guess the last few slots. We can try and put treemen there. It's going to take so long before we can, though. I think we'll need to put him to use before we have access to treemen. We do have one treemen, though. We do have we do have one treemen. Which is the one he started with, I imagine. Yeah, hopefully we can fight these guys off. I'm a little worried about them, you know. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, you guys are all fine. Let's end the turn. Oh, and I had Findol moving. I never moved him. And Thorak is right there. Oh dear. This could be a problem. This could genuinely be a problem over here. And this is a problem. This is annoying. They're going to start taking all of the outposts that we spent ages propping up. That's very frustrating. And Imric probably ended the non-aggression pact. Yeah, it's this, it's this crown. It's definitely upsetting, folks. Something about it. I mean, I just think it's a very fetching crown. And the enemy failed to spot our ambush. <laughs> Pyrrhic victory! But they failed to spot it. They have no ranged units. And he's not even flying. Like, there's literally nothing here that can fight our hawks. Alright, well, I guess we're fighting this, because I'm not losing any units in this battle, okay? Alright, so. You boys. Uh, so I could actually treat this like an ambush and, and charge them. Um, you know, take advantage of their really low leadership. Well, their leadership debuffs from... Um, being attacked. There are minus 35 leadership currently. So I could do that. I could I could go about doing that. 
so... Yeah, do I? I think I do. I think I do want to... to collapse on top of these guys, basically. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna collapse on them. And, uh... And <laughs> you guys are gonna chill in the forest. You guys can hang out there. So I don't see any of this stuff really getting in here quickly. Uh, so they do have... Um, some magic. Only invocation to hack. So yeah, we don't really need to care. Cool. Or do I just get a bunch of shots in first? No, I think I want to attack. Yeah, I think I want to attack. And are you in a good position? Not quite. Okay, hopefully this stuff will break pretty quickly. They're going to keep moving towards the exit. That's fine if they run. Like, I'm not fussed by that. Um, sure. I'm kind of hoping we'd have got through these guys a little quicker. Guess it's not the end of the world. Let's charge you guys in as well. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get the big explodey things out. Yeah, I should've just shot them. I really thought they'd break quicker. I always do though, don't I? I always do. Always end up doing that. Christ, you're really bogged down there. It's fine. Bounds of power still in our favor. Oh, they're fleeing. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Yeah, let's get you guys over here. And uh, you can start whittling them down. Let's turn everyone off uh, melee mode. Okay. Alright, let's get you lot out of here. Don't like you being bogged down like that. And yeah, everything's starting to... Um, starting to go now. Uh, so that's going to do magic damage, right? I think so. I think so. Oh, come on, orcs. Eagles, whatever you are. Lads. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, we can speed this up. No, oh, that eagle. Apparently you didn't get out of that fight. There we go, they're all melting. Good, close victory. See, I'm very surprised they didn't crumble faster with such little um, uh, leadership, but we still won pretty happily. Were it not for the kind heart uh, Torox declared war on me. Uh, I don't think we need to bring in reinforcements. That seems a waste. Uh, Morgir is still kicking. I don't know if the Fae Enchanter has just done a good job of keeping him busy or something. Uh, Barak Vavar, they want a peace treaty. Uh, no point, we're never going to see them. If I had my way. Hard wants a peace treaty. Him, I'm going to say yes to, actually. Because I'm not sure if the Sister Twilight's going to have a comfortable time fighting him. So I may as well just say yes. Okay, now we have 79 grand. But yeah, Thoric is right here. Okay, Whistle and Null got destroyed. Bunch of factions actually got destroyed. But we still aren't paying anything. So clearly there's still plenty. Okay. So you're getting more hawks. And you're going to do a masterful ambush here. If Doric decides to attack us and we get the ambush, um, then yeah, like a billion hawks. A billion hawks. Yeah, I think we can probably just have them shoot at the Quarrelers and we'll kill them quicker than they can kill us. And we can just plink them down. 
Uh, oh, Kairos decided he was going to attack us. That's a problem. That's a problem. Also, the fact that it says he's going to win. Don't like that much. And uh, this army's nearby. They can follow it up. Oh, dear. Do we need to bring the hawks over here to try and deal with this guy? He's got a lot of armies, doesn't he? Um, I don't think I can send Dirthu over there, but it would be pretty good with the magic damage, though all the fire isn't going to be good. The fire is going to be a problem. Um, I don't think we have that on cooldown, do we? No, five more turns. But yeah, that's a problem. It's a problem, him being there. Especially with him being here. Um, how can I assist you? Okay, how far does that go? Quite close, actually. Quite close. We can go all the way back here. We can leave Kallik Zorn to be um, taken, actually. It's annoying, but... You know, fine. Broadly. Yeah, we're gonna... So what? Let's see. Okay, he's gonna flee at that point. I thought he probably would. Thought he probably would. Um, now, let's set up that ambush. And <laughs> you can move into here. So it's annoying to have these two stacks. If they both attack us, that's going to get pretty grim, which is why we really need an ambush to kick off to, like, whittle down most of these guys. But we potentially have three stacks here. This could get very violent very quickly. So yeah, more, more garrison, please. Because that is not a good enough garrison. And yeah, that's probably going to take it by Thorak. He's going to be a problem too, but uh, he won't be able to make any progress if we have these three, you know, groups all stood there. At that point, I think we'll be laughing. Um, King's Glade? Get more random upgrades, I suppose. Um... Sure, more money. We always need more money. And yeah, Durthu, I suppose, go ahead and get more Dryads. Okay, good. Now let's go check up on Orion. So he hasn't got any replenishment, obviously. Um, so to do this... Um, regrowth. You know, I never used any of the magic in that last uh, battle. I keep forgetting we have spellcasters, because I've been basically playing completely without them. Which is a very weird way to play, because spellcasters are always um, a good value proposition. Like, 100% of the time. They are never a waste of time to bring. They will always be the highest value thing in your army. They will always get the most amount of damage done. They will always swing the tide of the bat you know, the, the particular engagements that matter the most in any battle. Um, they're just vital. And yet, we've done it without them, just because this campaign is ridiculous, basically. So that's kind of fun. Uh, Call of the Woods. Let's get Call of the Woods. Brilliant. Yes. So yeah, a bunch of these units have run off. Can I offer um, let's get you more. Actually, I want to try and get some more replenishment. So you, Orion, are going to sit indoors. It's going to give you some replenishment. Still can take a long time. These are dark times. We only have three more turns to win a battle, but that's plenty of time. All right, and you can get just more war dancers. Apparently, we're just doing nothing but Azrai spears, which makes sense if we're going to be fighting a lot of ogres. I mean, this just versus ogres is going to be pretty depraved. Um, both sides, honestly, like they, they're going to lose so many. All right, they are dark times. Dark times indeed. Okay, so these dark times, the darkest of times, the times at the end of the episode. It's the real dark times. Guys, the dark times are here. Um, if you if you love um, light times, tree times, times, if it's time to go to time, uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Let them face the rage of the forest!